Hi there! Welcome to another Friday Findings video. Today I thought I would get back to some basics and talk to you in detail about simple loops. Now loops are what we use to hold much of our jewelry together. And a simple loop is just that. It's just a simple loop in the piece of wire that holds pieces together. If you have a bead that's on a head pin and it has a loop, then this is a bead dangle. And if you have be a bead or beads that are on a piece of wire with a loop at each end, then that's a bead link. And these, like I said, are just simple loops as opposed to a wrapped loop where you can see the excess wire was wrapped around the loop. So it's very secure. So let me first of all show you how to make a simple loop. And of course you need some wire or you need a head pin, which is basically wire with something decorative on one end. You'll need for tools round nose pliers to make your loop nice and round, chain nose pliers, and wire cutters. That's all you need. So to make a simple loop, the first thing you need to do is decide the size that you want your loop. And a good average size is two millimeters. If you're going to make them smaller or larger, you'll need to adjust the size. But for two millimeters, I'm going to trim my wire to three-eighths of an inch from where it comes out of the bead. And use flush cutters and have the flush cutting side towards the wire that you're going to keep. Now if you want to make consistent loops, you can use a sharpie to mark on your round nose pliers just exactly where they are two millimeters in diameter. And like I said, if you are going to make smaller loops, you would make this wire shorter, and if you're going to make them wider, you would make this wire longer. So the way to hold your round nose pliers is in your hand, just like this, with your palm facing up, and then place your wire right in the jaws of the round nose pliers and feel over it with one of your fingers. That wire should be just at the edge of the jaws. You shouldn't feel any. See, like there it is sticking out, so I'm going to scooch it back down. You shouldn't feel any. Then you squeeze your round nose pliers so they hold onto the wire and just twist your wrist towards you. Now loosen slightly on the pliers, go back and twist again. So once you have your loop made, you can see that that's not particularly nice looking. It's off center and kind of wonky. So what we need to do to fix that is just grab the side of the loop that's coming out of the bead and bend it back to the other side. And what this will do, it will open up your loop a little bit and it will center it over your bead. And then you may have to go back and forth a few times. Close it, decenter it. It can be a little tough when you have a big bulky bead in the way. But there you go. That is a simple loop. Now it's important to know the size of the wire that you're using when making simple loops because this the strength of this wire is the only thing that's keeping your jewelry together, so you definitely need to use heavier gauge wire. The wire in this head pin is 20 gauge. I wouldn't go any smaller than 22 gauge wire. Here's some 22 gauge wire, and you can see I've made a loop out of that. Now let me just tug on this 20 gauge one with the pliers. So pretend you've got this on a bracelet. You've got lots of dangles on a bracelet and it gets caught on something. This is pretty strong. I'm, I'm tugging on this. I'm exerting a bit of force and it's not going anywhere. Now the 22 gauge wire, uh, you could see that with a, you know, it's pretty well holding. You could see it's opened up maybe just a little bit with the force, but 22 is, is pretty strong. But then here is some 24 gauge wire. Oh, look at that. So if you were to make a bracelet with some dangles that were out of 24 gauge wire, you'd be in danger of, of losing them if you, they ever got caught on something. Bracelets tend to get beat up a bit. So if you need to use anything less than 22 gauge wire for your jewelry, 
perhaps it is the only size that will fit through the holes of your beads, then you need to be making wrapped loops and not simple loops to be sure that your jewelry is secure. And I thought I would show you just one more way you can make simple loops, and that's with this tool. This is called the One Step Looper, and all it does is make one size, 1.5 millimeter, simple loops, and that's it. I have done a Friday Findings video telling you all about this tool, but I'll just show you real quick what it does. It does one thing, and it does it well. You just stick your wire in, and there you go. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit, but you have a very quick, simple loop. So I hope you found this video helpful in knowing which loops to use for which wire gauges in your jewelry to make sure that it's secure as possible. If you like this video, please make sure you've subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it. And also check out my blog, KeepsakeCrafts.net. And up on the screen are a couple more jewelry making videos you just might enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Happy creating. Bye bye.